Good job. Stay in Africa. Somalia is a country that's long been affected by instability. Today's fierce clashes in the capital Mogadishu between Ethiopian troops backing the interim government and insurgents saw several people killed. It's typical of the violence that's plagued Somalia. Back in the 90s, there was near anarchy after the departure of President Siad Barry. At the time, a young Reuters photographer, Dan Eldon, was among the first to document the violence and famine in Somalia which in the end claimed his own life. But his photographs haven't been forgotten and are on show at a new permanent exhibition at New York's Candela Decker Gallery. Our correspondent David Loyne has more. They are searing images of suffering. Somalia in the early 1990s, a quarter of the country's six million people are starving to death. Pictures were taken by Dan Eldon, a young photographer in his early truth to the rumours of a famine. His photos were among the images that alerted the world to the human catastrophe that was unfolding there. I feel that Dan's energy was different than a lot of photojournalists because he grew up in Africa. When he was seven years old, we moved to Nairobi, Kenya, and he grew up among Africans. He didn't see any differences. He didn't see black or white or beige. He just saw people. So when he became a photojournalist, he was seeing people in the same way that he had when he was little. So he could relate to people at a very different level. He was also incredibly young when he was a photojournalist, so they related to him differently as well. Within months, the International Red Cross declared what was happening in Somalia a crisis requiring global action. Attacks on emergency food supplies by the country's warring factions were making the situation even worse. U.S. forces intervened. And all the while, Dan Eldon kept snapping away. He became a familiar figure in Somalia, earning himself the nickname, the Mayor of Mogadishu. The new sheriff in town. I'm going to clean up this place. In 1993, U.S. troops were taking a more active role in the fighting. They bombed a house believed to be the headquarters of the warlord, General Mohammed Aydeed. Eldon rushed to the scene to record what was happening and was met by an angry mob. He died at the age of 22. When Dan and his colleagues arrived, the people were so enraged by what had happened that they stoned and killed and beat and shot the journalist to death. So Dan was stoned to death by an angry mob together with three colleagues. Not long after his funeral, a rucksack with his belongings was delivered to his family. In the sack, they found a journal. It contained his writings, photographs from Somalia, and a collection of whimsical drawing and artwork. That artwork and some of his English photos are now on display at a permanent exhibition in New York entitled The Journey is the Destination. Eldon's fans include Oprah Winfrey, Madonna, and Hillary Clinton. His spirit is so in, in these walls and in these images that it almost gives me goosebumps when I walk in. Dan Eldon made more difference in his short life than many do in a long lifetime. Now the way he saw the world will live on, seen and touching more people than just those closest to him. Worker photojournalist Dan Eldon. A reminder now of our top story. Sri Lanka's Tamil Tiger rebels have called for three days of mourning after the head of their political wing, SP Tamil Selvan, was killed in an airstrike by the military. He was the Tamil Tiger's public face for international mediators. This is World News Today.